What's going on, good people? It's Iceberg. Good morning to you. It's a beautiful Wednesday here in North Carolina. Temperatures in the low 50s right now, but we're going to be getting up into the low 80s, I'm supposed to. Nice and sunny day. Beautiful day for being outside. It's mid April, so. You know, we're springtime temperatures here. Everything's in bloom. If you got allergies and pollen is a problem for you, you may be struggling a little bit right now, but it looks beautiful outside with everything green, nice and green. Trees are green, grass is green, flowers are blooming, vegetables are growing, gardens are growing. Hopefully you got something growing. You see where I'm going with all of this. But happy Wednesday to you all, April 19th, 2023 don't know why I'm really saying the date, but maybe some people need to know exactly what day it is. Maybe you didn't realize it was April 19th already. Maybe you didn't realize that you need to have your seeds growing already, have your seedlings already started, stuff coming up out the ground. I planted a bunch of stuff, uh, new seeds on what's today, Wednesday, so I think I planted them on Sunday. And some of them are already sprouting. I planted a bunch of different species, of course. My first round of stuff that I already have growing, that's my leafy greens. Now, what I have planted are some of the other stuff that you saw me grow last year and a couple new things, your cucumber, your squash, your zucchini, um, cauliflower, I got a bunch of stuff. Peppers, all different kinds of peppers, green peppers, red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, uh, jalapeno pepper. So all of that stuff, I got all of that stuff ready to starting seedlings starting right now hopefully you got the same going on for yourself or whatever it is that you and your family eat i'm doing all of this in containers so there's no excuse i have a small space that i'm working in but it's all container gardening so you can do it too you can look at some of my videos from last year see some of the stuff that i did i'll take some videos this year i'm trying to actually put more focus into actually working doing the stuff this year doing the videos takes a lot of time it you know, you got to worry about the camera getting right, the angles getting right, your sound being right, all of that stuff. And the space that I'm in is just not extremely conducive for all of that with the sound, you know, of air conditioners in the background and stuff like that. So, like I said, I'll do some videos, but a lot of time I'm going to be spending doing work and maybe I'll just kind of show y'all some of the before and after stuff, you know, things like that. But I'm not going to be spending too much time doing a whole lot of videos in the garden while I'm actually just working my stuff because I want to get a whole lot more vegetables planted and I need to spend more time with them learning how to take care of the different ones. Like last year we learned how to take care of our cucumber plants with getting the suckers off of there and that actually allows and promotes your cucumbers growing. So we were successfully able to grow some cucumbers last year for the first time. We've been doing zucchini and squash, tomatoes, uh, green beans, things like that. We've been doing that successfully. So all of the stuff you can do too, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I've learned how to do this stuff over the years, pick up new things, but it's all simple processes. It's the same process that's processes that have been done for thousands of years. Our ancestors did these processes, growing food off of the land, and it's time for us to get back to doing that. You gotta get yourself some land, get yourself a space where you can do it. You know, if you started a small space and then branch out, whatever, but we gotta take care of ourselves, good people. I don't know what's going on in the world right now, but well, in America, again, I'm gonna focus on America. I'm not focused on the world, I'm focused on America because we got enough of our own problems here that we need to be taken care of. I don't know what's going on in America right now with people shooting people through doors, shooting people for pulling into your driveway. Like, what is going on with these people and shooting people for no reason? There's no threat. The person's not doing any harm to them, and you're just unloading on people for, I don't understand it. We can't say it's just the gangs. We can't say it's black on black. We can't say none of that. We got a white man doing it to a black kid. We got somebody that did it to a white girl. We got, like, are all these people with guns now walking around threatened, feeling feeling uh, scared? They got the gun, but they're afraid. They're still scared in their skin. What's going on? 
I mean, I'm a legal gun owner. I'm a gun carrier. I'm a concealed concealed carry, you know, I have my concealed uh, carry permit and all of that. But I've never shot my gun at a person. I've never pointed my gun at a person except for when I was a police officer. When I was a police officer, yes, I pointed my gun at people multiple times. But as a civilian, I've never pulled my gun out and felt like I needed to be close to using it for it on anybody. So I don't understand these people. They're like you're in your house and somebody rings your doorbell. And because it's a black kid, you take shots through the door. And I don't know the full story on what happened with the little white girl that they were showing. I'm sorry, I'm calling her a little white girl. She may be a full grown woman. She just looked young on the picture to me. So I apologize. But apparently I heard something about like they pulled into the wrong driveway or something and got shot. So my question to gun owners out there, again, I'm one, I'm a gun owner. But my question to you is, how are we going to continue to say and feel like we're going to win any kind of battle of us needing to be able to keep our guns and carry them in public and all of this stuff? If we got people in their dog on houses shooting at people who they're not even being threatened by in any way, shape or form. There is a big time mental health problem in America. I don't know what it is. I don't know why these people are so scary. I don't know why you got so many people walking around afraid and then they feel like the gun is going to give them the power to do all of the things. I mean, the same thing happens with some of the bad police officers who are people who grew up maybe getting beat up or, you know, being picked on and they walk around life afraid. And then they feel like that badge and that gun gives them the authority to go out and exact their revenge on people because they know that they have the boys in blue in the system backing them and supporting them. Well, a lot of that's been changing lately. We've been seeing more and more police officers get convicted of the crimes that they commit, even when they're wearing a uniform. But it's not true in all cases. But we really, again, I personally think that a lot of times we we spend a lot of time talking about all of the offshoot stuff and not talking about the actual issue. So we think about like medicine commercials. They spend, uh, they tell you a little bit about what the medicine does and then they spend five minutes telling you about all the side effects and all the bad things that it do to you. Why don't we spend our time focus on the root causes of these things? Mental health problems is the reason why these people are walking around scary, feeling like you... Having a gun gives them the power or the safety and feeling like using the gun is justified in the situations that they're in. All of these things make no sense. Walking around afraid in your own skin is a problem in itself. Feeling like having a gun is going to change that is another problem. And then feeling justified to use the gun anytime you get ready just because somebody rung your doorbell or pulled into your driveway or did some other harmless thing by mistake in a lot of cases and you decide that that's reason to shoot them it makes no sense to me but again we'll hear a lot of people on these YouTube airwaves, on the main media airwaves, the politicians and everybody, they're going to argue about one thing or another and not ever talk about the root cause of these issues. None of these guns are pulling the trigger themselves. It's the people behind the gun who have the mental capacity to think, I need to take this person's life right now for no good reason other than whatever's going on in their own head. Tell me that's not accurate. And then when you tell me that's accurate, stop telling me that the damn gun is the thing that did it. Because we got the founder of Cash App was stabbed, had nothing to do with a gun, yet it was still violence committed against him that took his life for no apparent reason. These people have mental health issues. And when they resort to thinking that taking another person's life is going to solve whatever their issue is in their own life, that is the problem. Start addressing the problem, people. Take care of your own mental health. Watch out for other people who are not taking care of their mental health because they may become a harm to you or themselves. Ask people about what's going on with their situation. 
people have to start embracing what's going on with their situations to be able to work through it and actually get some resolution so it's not a mental health impairment on them for the rest of their lives. Instead, people just bury things down, find other vices to not think about it and never deal with the issue until it all comes boiling up and they decide they're going to take somebody else's life and that's supposed to do something for them. None of this makes sense, people. Stop arguing about the guns. Stop arguing about a whole bunch of other nonsense and start addressing people's mental health. These people have something wrong in their head if they think taking another person's life is going to do anything to help them. So we need to start addressing the root cause of the issue, good people. I'm about to get in here on the grind. I hope each and every one of y'all out there have a wonderful day. Make sure you're taking care of yourself and make sure you're taking care of each other. Make sure you're looking in the mirror telling yourself, good morning, gorgeous, good morning, handsome, good morning, strong brother. Whatever it is that you need to say to yourself to speak that positivity into your soul. Make sure you're doing it for yourself because there's not many people who are going to do it for you. Make sure you're teaching the babies how to do it themselves as well too. When they're standing on the stool, brushing their teeth, learning how to brush their teeth, make sure you have them speaking positive affirmations to themselves or listening to the affor positive affirmations that you listen to. Nobody's going to tell them how to be positive, how to take care of their own mental health if you don't do it. But you got to start with yourself. Put your mask on first and then take care of the infants and elderly around you. So take care of your mental health. Start taking care of the people around you in your circle. We can make this change, but we first have to accept and understand the root cause of what is causing these issues and stop talking about all of the fringe subjects that are just side effects. This iceberg good people. I'm out of here. Salute to y'all.